Hey everybody, Justin here, and I wanted to clear up some confusion that people are having um, when it comes to connectors versus setting up a Zapier integration. Now, if you look in your accounts when you log in, there is a full demo on how to do connectors. The difference between connectors and a typical Zapier integration is that connectors are active. In other words, you actually have to flip that tag switch on a call or on a contact for it to work. You have to manually do it. So when you want to be very specific about the data that you want to send, say to Podio or wherever, that's what connectors are for. If you want all calls and all contacts to just go in automatically, well, we have a Zapier integration set up for that. And I'm going to show you here. All right, so I'm going to pull up my desktop. And I'm logged into REI Rail. Now, look, I'm going to go here under my user tab, and I'm going to go to integrations. Okay? And you'll see the Zapier thing, the Zapier um, button. So what you're going to do here is you're going to you're going to copy the API key to clipboard. You're going to click copy to clipboard and that just copied my API key. And then I'm going to click go to Zapier. All right. So now I'm going to I'm going to log into my account. Hope I can remember my password. Let's see. All right. There we go. Logged in. I'm going to choose never save. I don't want anybody stealing my passwords from Chrome. All right. So I'm going to hit accept invite. All right. Accept invite. And now I can create a zap. So I'm going to go to create zap. And I'm going to search for REI rail. Now you can see REI rail now comes up and it'll say by invite because you click that button inside the app. All right. And so I'm going to choose here a trigger event. Now these are the triggers we have set up. You can have contact leads. In other words, contacts that you actually tag as a lead, similar to connectors, um, or you can have all calls or a call lead. So when you actually trigger a lead as a call. Now, connectors kind of takes care of contact leads and call lead. Um, even though we still have them here, I wouldn't really use them here. I would use connectors because it's just going to be better for you. But all calls is if you want all of the calls that come into your REI rail account to go to Podio or wherever you want them to go. All right. So I'm going to choose all calls. All right. And so now I'm going to say continue. All right. And I'm going to hit my API key. I'm going to paste my API key that I copied in here. Okay. And then hit continue to finish. All right. Now I'm going to hit test my trigger because now what it's going to do is it's going to make a call and actually pull in some test data. You can see it pulled in my, my, my main man, my brother, my partner, uh, Vincent Harris, call data. So I'm going to hit continue. And now I'm just going to set up a Podio integration. So I go and I choose Podio. All right. And I'm going to say, uh, choose the event. I'm going to hit create item. Now my Podio account is already associated with my Zapier. So Zapier will walk you through that if um, you don't have a Podio account, but it's already integrated into my Zapier account. So I'm going to hit Create Item. I'm going to hit Continue. I'm going to choose my the Podio account that I have associated inside of Zapier. Okay. And then I'm going to choose, you know, it walks me through all of the Podio stuff, like what's my organization. Um, I have one called Justin Investor Workspace. What workspace? What application do I want to use? that's in that workspace, that Podio workspace. I have one called calls, all right? And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna assign the data from REI Rail into the data here inside of Podio. So for caller name, I'm just gonna choose caller name. For caller number, I'm just gonna choose, I'm gonna hit show all options. And we have a caller phone, okay? And the date that it was received, I'm going to choose the call. Uh, let's see here, call date. All right. And I'm just going to choose one more thing. I'm going to say, oh, call type is, I'm just going to choose received call. And um, duration, I'm actually going to put, uh, I believe we have a call duration on here. Call duration. There you go. Okay, so, you know, you get it. I'm going to hit continue. And I'm going to now hit test and continue. And turn on zap. 
all right so now you can see it here in my zaps I've got that zap set up I actually didn't name it I probably should go in and name it um, so but you can see here I didn't name it I'm just going to name it uh, calls from REI rail okay and you can see it's on and I've got all calls sent to REI rail create item in Podio just to make sure everything is working good and it is so that's it guys all right so when you want to set up a Zapier integration uh, inside of REI rail for all calls that's what you do don't use connectors just use that Zapier integration so I hope this makes sense I hope it's easy for you all to follow um, as Vince says, don't punt on the weekends because you know we'll be watching. And uh, good luck to you and your businesses. Give us a call or an email if you have any issues setting up a Zapier integration.